Hey, it's James from Trotec Laser Canada here again, guys. Uh, listen, I've got my little buddy here, the Speedmarker 300 Mopa. This Mopa here is uh, it's very special. It's very different from the Fiber Laser. Why is this? It's because we can do variable pulse widths. You can do some spectacular stuff. Today, we're gonna be showing you how to do black on anodized aluminum. Now, I know all you laser users out there right now, you're thinking you can't do black on anodized aluminum. Well, you know what, with the Mopa, we can do it now. On the CO2, it's just white. On the fiber, again, it's just white. Now, with the fiber Mopa, we can do black. I'm gonna show you how, watch this. Okay, so I brought up uh, a file that I did on Corel Draw. I just wanna show you this as well. In Speedmark, we can pull up our artwork into separate layers. So right now I have a layer with all this drawing here, a layer with this one, a layer with this one, and a layer with all the rest. When I do that and I import it as a DXF, they come into Speedmark all as separate objects that we can give uh, different attributes to. Uh, one of them being we can change the, the engraving from just a standard engraving to MOPA black or we can uh, change this one here as well um, to an anodized aluminum. So I'm just gonna make this white, just like a standard fiber layer teaser. And this one here, we already have it as, as MOPA. I'm also gonna introduce to you something called Wobble, which is on all the new Speedmark software. Okay, so Wobble is fantastic. Once you use the setting, uh, it basically takes your straight line and turns it into a wobbly line. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the diameter of your wobble, in this case it's 0.1 of a millimeter, and then you're also gonna say how many times per second it's going to wobble. And so that really takes into account how slow the line's going to go, so how fast the uh, engraving is on your engraving setting. And it's going to use that as its speed of wobbling. So what you'll get, instead of having a thin line with the laser going across that way, you're gonna get a thicker line by having it draw little circles like that. And how we do that is by going into fill and all the way down here to line width and we show wobble. And then we give it a thickness for the line and the frequency. This is in, in kilohertz, so this will be a thousand times spinning around this 0.1 of a millimeter every second. So now that it's all laid out, I have my positioning line here. I'm just gonna come up here, click on positioning line, and my MOPA is going to broadcast a red square around where I have to put my part. Let's have a look. So you'll see here, we have, we're broadcasting this red line that allows us to place our material in the exact position we want it. That way we don't have to use any fancy jigs or anything. Turn on my light, close my door, and simply hit go. Watch this. Wow, this is fantastic uh, to see the black on the anodized aluminum. You know what we can use this for? Man, I can think of architectural signage, promotional products, industrial marking, a lot of things that we can do, especially since we can go black, we can go gray, and we can go white. This MOPA here, fantastic stuff. Listen guys, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, please, please, please leave your comments below. We'll even answer them.